Is this when she was bringing them to her apartment? I can't believe we're actually going to see a date rape happen. <laughs> She's so fucked up. It's funny because so many people had a problem with it. Like, oh my god, she's taking advantage of him. Oh no, it's like, shut up. She's so fucked up. I had a time where I like, I got super drunk and I literally told my girlfriend, hey yo, I'm trying to have a threesome with you and her family friend who was also in the car, mind you. I don't remember saying any of that shit, but I said it. <laughs> and I meant it, not joking. <laughs> you got the Velcro sevens on, bro. Are you getting the same thing as like with Aki, her routine, except for she's drunk? I kind of take it back. She had it. <laughs> she had enough going on to take a shower. <laughs> yeah, she's still out of it. Yeah, she forgot he was even in there. Yo, this POV shot. It looks like Dingy just hovering on the bed. It looks so weird. Damn. This is from a predator's perspective. Yo. <laughs> we get to see it all. I'm not mad at these angles, yo. This is crazy from this, like to see how actual fucked up he was. It's it's queer. It's like slightly different from her perspective. Yo, Denshi look like he does not want it, bro. <laughs> that was like a long recap, I'll say that. If I'm Denji, I'm like, let me just slip it in real quick. Like, you know? <laughs> Yo, he is at her command. I likes ya, and I wants ya. <laughs> we can do this the easy way. Or the hard way. The choice is yours. Yes. <laughs> I fucking love Dingy. <laughs> oh, these perspectives, yo. I know so many people about to be mad about this. Oh. <laughs> oh man. That's what Makima gave him. Uh, you shouldn't look at it like that. It is a horror story though. Like that that's that's disgusting. True. He, she is playing him so hard, bro. It's kind of funny because you see Denji being the bigger person. Makima just has that much control over him, essentially. Oh, she mad about that. <laughs> she even acknowledges it. That's for all the people out there who are so mad. Yeah, I was born in the trenches. What the fuck you talking about? <laughs> I had niggas trying to kill me. You think I'm scared of some pussy? No, <laughs> Man, jumps at the opportunity. Tag team duo. Tag team champions of the world. <laughs> you said I like him because he looks good. That's pretty much it. Keep it simple. I don't know if you want power to be there. <laughs> oh, shit. Really? Uh oh. The ops. Oh shit. Ooh. I like how the way they did that. 
Everyone's just looking. <laughs> Damn. They fuck Makima up. Oh, and other dude, whoever the, whoever you were. Nobody knows what's going on. Going about their daily life. I'm not gonna lie, this is like the perfect music to play for the scene. Yo, the old lady was packing. Damn, bro. They are on a mission right now. Yo, this became America real quick. You know, school shooters everywhere. Damn, she's so old. Oof. She's so old, like, it seemed like she was having a hard time even doing it. And they think it's a festival because of the fact that they don't hear gunshots. Like, they took away things like guns a while ago. Man, Gordon Ramsay. Uh oh. A necessary evil, but he was nice though, bro. <laughs> Only killed a few women and children, but he's nice though. <laughs> yeah, good man, right? Same nigga who set up Dingy, right? <laughs> Everybody's at the dingy's heart. Oof. No questions asked, bro. Him in on power dips. Ooh, power coming in clutch. Oh, this is where that scene came from. That looks epic with the lighting and shit on it. Damn. Dingy's alright, though. Himeno, though. Damn. He ripped out of its eye? Yeah, he looks badass right here, bro. <laughs> he finally pulled it out. Not your normal sword, it's more like a no. Mm. I like the POVs of this. Yo, Aki's fucking him up. One more hit. Never mind. What in the CG? <laughs> I gotta say, manga did it better. <laughs> I wish that scene had a little bit more impact to it. It felt like it, it was missing something, you know? Yeah. Where'd she come from? <laughs> yeah, yeah. She somehow revived him. Hmm. Learn from it. Yeah. Learn from it. Whoop his ass. He speed blitzed him like that. Like, see, like, that had impact. The other one, it didn't seem like it had that much. But damn. Like, everybody's taking an L. Oof. Even Ghost is scared. The one thing Himeno doesn't want is Aki to die. That gave me chills right there. Oh, this is a really good scene how they're showing us. Yeah. Arm gone. Yo, man is getting fucked up. She's just watching. 
Now she's about to use her power. Yo, that's a great shot. Second arm. And then Aki's just watching this all happen. Damn. She lost her legs right there. She said, cut that shit out, bro. <laughs> Damn, she's gone. Sacrificed all herself and couldn't even get the job done. That's how they end it? Oh, what the fuck. Damn, so we lost a homie right now, and it seems like we lost many more. Everyone's getting ambushed. And it's just crazy about Himeno because she just formed this contract, if you will, with Denji that she'll help him try to get with Makima, and he'll help her try to get with Aki. Like, her whole story is based around you know, a tragic love story, unrequited love, how she has this feeling and emotion for Aki, but yet it ultimately falls short because he has so much interest in Makima. And then, you know, other than that, her whole drive is to keep him safe because she's tired of seeing people die all the time. And she cares about him and actually loves him to some extent. And because of that, she went and sacrificed herself. She kept saying the entire time, she said it multiple times, just, you know, don't die. You can't do it because you're going to die. So not only did Aki lose a large amount of years off his life, Himeno also took a huge L in trying to self-sacrifice herself, but it just didn't work. Um, I felt like the impact of this was really good. I did like, uh, you know, the beginning scenes and stuff. I know a lot of people are still gonna get mad about that because of how close it was. Basically, she was gonna smash, but because of Denji actually taking steps back, remembering Makima and stuff, which is kind of ironic because of the fact that she has um, such contention with Makima because Aki likes her so much, right? It's kind of ironic that <laughs> Makima giving him the little chub is the whole thing that makes him turn against her and not really want to smash at that point in time. So <laughs> it's it's a it's a funny play that really comes to that. I know a lot of people are gonna get mad because yeah, she was gonna do it, but again, she was blackout drunk. Like you do a lot of things when you're fucked up. I said earlier, like, dude, I literally told an ex <laughs> while in the car with her family. I didn't I didn't even mention that part in a car with her family and I told her that I'm trying to get in a threesome with her I think it was her aunt and then even like her family friend supposedly I don't remember any of this shit but she told me that so it's like there's a lot of stuff that happens when you're intoxicated inebriated this is one of the main reasons that they tell you not to drink it's just a poison out there all after all of this things happen in life and I'm not going to be mad about certain characters doing certain things just because um they're inebriated now if it's an habitual thing where she keeps doing it over and over well then you just have a fucking problem at that point you need to stop but um overall good episode i didn't quite like when aki was doing uh when he was using the curse devil only to the extent that i felt like it should have been uh more impact on it maybe they could have added a different sort of sound effect to it um but it was still good the way that it was animated the way that everything was kind of done uh, of course pulling out the guns bro they had everybody from fucking young people over to old ladies pulling out the blick and killing these niggas so it was an interesting thing sad to see her go of course it's just a character we just met off like right off the bat but damn it was a really good moment for her so yeah my negatives of this was only really just, just, just a cursed devil stuff with Aki. I felt like it just needed a little more oomph to it. But uh, yeah, this is KYD. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that other good shit. How'd you feel about this? You crying over Himeno? I didn't in the manga, but seeing her go out like that and seeing it again, it did give me sort of the chills of her going through it. Her having that moment of saying, like, I want you to cry over me just shows, like, I want to be important to you and know that I was important to you, right? You cry over those people that are essentially important. So I want you to remember me, keep me in your head. And that's kind of like what we get here with it. 
um, very impactful moment with her loved it all they also talked about how uh, the devil hunter uniforms they're actually very sturdy so they can't be done in by regular attacks or even gunshots even help them out like it like the, the suit helps them out in those terms so it's like armor without not necessarily being armor per se but um yeah it was it was just a really really good moment and also a very sad ending for her so see you guys next time i'm out peace